Hello and welcome or welcome back to the Boss House. I'm Bo. This is my journey to find financial stability for me, my partner, and his three kids. Also my cat. Uh, this is actually a check-in on the, um, I guess the third week of May. Um, just on my transactions, there haven't been many. So uh, let's just get started, I guess. Um, we're going to start with Thursday because I get paid on Thursdays anyway. So Thursday of last month, I didn't spend anything. Um, same with the 5th. On the 6th, I went to a concert. I actually went to, um, I went to see August D and I'm super, super excited, um, that I finally got to go to a concert. Uh, this bracelet was one of the things that I got at it. Fans were just handing out like free gifts to people. It was super sweet. I also got this sticker, which I found absolutely adorable. Um, so yeah, um, I did spend $37.41 on lunch for me and my friend. Um, she paid for the tickets. She paid for um, for everything else. So I figured I may as well buy her lunch. I figured that's the least I could do. Uh, it is more than I planned on spending on dining out, but it all kind of evens out in the end. So I'm not worried about it. Um, and then train came out. Uh, that was $75. On the 7th, on the 9th, my credit card payment came through. That's $175. And then I unstuffed $19 from groceries on the 10th. And that's it. Like, that's that's it for my transactions. Pretty straightforward. So let's go to... Oh, oh my goodness. My brain! Okay. Let's go to the actual paycheck because I have to figure out exactly where all this money is going. Um, and let's look at the overview. So um, I got paid $1,089.49, which is of course more than budgeted for. Um, didn't take anything from savings or rollover or anything, so that's still the same, $1,089.49. Um, what came out for bills was YouTube for $22.99, train for $75, credit card for $175, um, if you aren't in the loop, if you haven't been watching my videos, um, my minimum payment is actually like uh, $110. I do pay extra, but I'm not paying this down super fast because it's only 4% interest. Um, but that brings my fixed expenses to $272.99, which is pretty much what was expected, uh, left me with $816.50. And then for variable expenses, um, dining out was $37.41. I'd only budgeted for $20, but that's perfectly fine. Um, groceries was $201. I'd budgeted for $220, so that kind of evened this out. That brings my variable expenses to $238.41, which is actually less than what I budgeted for. Um, left me with $578.09 which is more than I budgeted for. So we're excited, right? Um, and then for all my short-term sinking funds, health, 120, shopping, 40, miscellaneous, 40, birthdays, 20, pet food, 40, registration license, 40, subscriptions, 35, clothing, 20, all like as expected, right? And then for my goals, I, it was just as expected. Um, and oh, anyway. I meant to say, uh, that brought my sinking funds to $355, left me with $223.09, which is more than expected because this was exactly the same. I didn't do anything extra. Um, and for extra savings for my goals, penny, penny challenge 2527, which is what I actually like planned. I just, I like to use round numbers. I use, I like to use whole numbers for the budgeted portion, but $25.27, that's fine. Uh, $40 for $1,000 challenge, which goes to my uh, emergency fund. Uh, $2,000 challenge, which goes to my cruise, $100, as expected. That's all and great and dandy. And now we are just going to do the dice challenge, which is, I just decide like what random goal I'm going to take some of this money from and the rest will go to my house fund, which is a completely separate budget and separate bank accounts. So 
Of course, I did not take this out in advance because that's who I am as a person. Uh, so let's roll these dice. I'm actually, I always get excited, even though really I could just like do this on purpose. I just, I think it's fun to do the randomness. Okay. Da! Okay. So two means uh, we're going to the emergency fund and 74 means 74% is going to my emergency fund. So out of what's left, which is actually, da, 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 it's actually 5782. So let's see, okay. 5782 times, oh my goodness, I already forgot. Was it 74? I think it was 74. Well, if it wasn't, it is now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so $42.79 is going to go to my emergency fund. Let's put these back. Okay. E-fund. Okay, so $42.79. So we're going to add that. So 25, oh, I guess I can do that in frame, right? 25, 27 plus 40 plus 100 plus 42.79 equals 20806. Uh, and we're going to subtract that from 22309 that's 1503 so 1503 is going to be transferred to my house fund and that's it that's my closeout for the first paycheck of may um thank you so much for watching as long as you did i love you i appreciate you you deserve financial stability and i hope you have a great day on purpose bye